The synagogue in Sopotica, a city in northern Serbia, was designed by Hungarian architects Daja Jakob and Marcel Komor. Built between 1901 and 1903, it became one of the most innovative late 19th century Jewish places of worship in the Habsburg Empire. It is the first synagogue to incorporate the new architectural language of Hungarian Art Nouveau, which expressed loyalty to the Hungarian nation. At the same time, the style enabled the architects to break away from tradition and create a modern building. Subotica Synagogue is reminiscent of Byzantine-style synagogues with a large central cupola. Four smaller domes crown the turrets that house the staircases leading to the women's gallery and complement the main dome. The central cupola resembles the dome of the cathedral in Florence, while its lantern recalls that of San Marco in Venice. Decimated by the Holocaust, the local Jewish community could not maintain the large synagogue. In 1979, they donated the building to the municipality under the condition that the synagogue would be restored and used for cultural purposes. Little occurred until recent years when a joint effort of World Monuments Fund, the city of Sobotica, the Serbian state, and the European Union began restoration work. For over 15 years, World Monuments Fund has been committed to the conservation and revitalization of Sobotica Synagogue, thanks to the support of the Kahneman Foundation, the David Berg Foundation, and the Rothschild Foundation Europe. Work initially focused on the restoration and repair of the roof and drainage system the central dome and four lower cupolas, and the restoration of the roof tiles and terracotta facade elements. In 2013 and 2014, WMF supported the work on the southwest entry facade in cooperation with the city of Sobotica, the Ministry of Culture in Serbia, and the local provincial government. The restoration work on the facade was completed in late 2014. WMF's long-term commitment to Sobotica Synagogue's conservation and reuse has benefited the site greatly. In 2012, for the first time in decades, the synagogue was open to the public, becoming a destination for the local Jewish population, international Jewish heritage travelers, and an expanding regional tourism audience.